That's my mailing vice. It's fixed on the table with these four T nuts. Before I can start milling, I always need to orient the vise parallel to the X axis of the machine and that's very annoying and time consuming. Let me show you. First, I roughly orient it with a tri square. Tighten the nut on the top right and just slightly tighten the three remaining nuts. Now I'm using a dial indicator on the fixed jaw of the vise to see how well it's aligned by moving the X axis. It's almost 0.2 mm off in this case. With a few light hits with the nylon hammer I can adjust its position. Once it's perfectly aligned, I can tighten the remaining three nuts. And now I would be ready to start milling. To avoid all this, I'm going to drill and ream two holes in the bottom of the vise. So I can use such hardened and surface grinded pins to align the vise with the slots in the milling table. First I'm going to take the vise over to the workbench and disassemble the T-nuts and the movable jaw. Ok, so far so good. I prepared this little aluminium block to clamp the vise on later. Tighten both nuts. And mill the top surface clean. And also this surface as reference. Now I can put the vise on it upside down, press the fixed jaw onto the freshly milled reference surface and bolt it down. I'm using this dial indicator to get the reference point from one of the existing holes in the vise. Before I start drilling, I'm going to center drill all positions of the new holes first. The angle of this tool is 90 degree. I'm drilling as deep so the reamed holes will already be countersink before they've gotten drilled. I decided to make a few more of these holes. That will give me more options how to fix the vise later. Now I'm pre-drilling all the holes to 9.8 mm, so I'll have 0.2 mm material left to remove later with the reaming tool. I'm going to drill these holes through and the blind ones are 15 mm deep. With the reaming tool I can make the diameter of the holes precisely to 10.1 mm, exactly what I need. I'm adding a bit of cutting oil for cooling and lubrication. I'm not going to ream these holes completely through, I'll leave 1 mm at the bottom. The blind holes are reamed 12 mm deep. 
And that's already it. A quick test fit with the pin and then I can reassemble the vise. For the regular use I'm putting the pins in these two holes. They now fit nicely into the slot on the milling table. I'm quickly going to double check the accuracy of my work with the dial indicator on the fixed jaw. That looks absolutely perfect. And if I want to fix the vise on another position or direction on the table, I can just change the position of the pins. And put it back on the milling machine. And start milling immediately. This will be a huge help in the future. Thanks for watching.